Hey everyone, welcome back for week six of our Vassar based community workouts. This week we're going to take a little bit of a break from the actual workouts and we're going to do some mobility. Okay, I've got a lot of requests recently for what kind of stretches can I do? I'm sitting a lot more than usual, so I wanted to give you all a few tools that might help you feel a little bit more mobile while you're working from home. So today's workout is work from home mobility, okay? I encourage you to try and do some of these stretches three, four times a day just to help you stay mobile. Okay, the first one we're going to do is a quad wall or couch stretch. Okay, you're going to hold that one for 30 seconds on each side. Then we'll do the seated figure four. Okay, that one can be done in just a chair. Again, a 30 second hold on each side. We'll follow that up with a T-spine crunch. Okay, our upper backs tend to get really, really tight, our T-spine, so we'll kind of work to open that up. That's going to be 10 to 12 repetitions there. Then we'll follow it up with an elevated pigeon stretch. Okay, 30 seconds each side there. And finally, we'll finish it out with child's pose to cobra. Okay, that'll be eight to 10 reps. All right, so coming up, I'll show you how to do each of these stretches and hopefully we get a little more mobile. All right, first up, we're gonna address the hips. Okay, so quad wall stretch. So we have to do our hip flexors and quad. So what we're gonna do is use the couch today as our surface, not necessarily a wall. What we're gonna do is have a pillow on the floor that's gonna help cushion your knee. You're gonna put your toe up against the couch and you're gonna try and get your knee as close to the couch as possible as long as it's comfortable for you. If you're really tight in our quads and hip flexors, you might have to be out a little bit farther, but try and get in as close to the couch as possible, okay? From there, what you're gonna do is squeeze that glute to drive your hips forward. You're not lunging forward with that front foot, you're just pushing your hips forward, okay? A lot of people feel this is a really intense stretch right here, but if you don't feel it as much, you can always extend one hand straight overhead, this will make the stretch a little bit more intense. Okay, you're gonna hold 30 seconds on each side. So once you do 30 on this side, go to the other side. This is quad wall stretch. Okay, seated figure four is up next. This is a great stretch for kind of our psoas, hip flexor area, get really tight when we're sitting. Okay, I like to do this one on a slightly harder surface, so grabbing a chair or a bench, something a little bit harder, just helps us maintain good posture. From here, I'm gonna sit right on the edge of that bench, stool, whatever you're on. I'm going to cross one leg over the other, one hand at the ankle, one hand at the knee. You're going to push down on that knee, maintaining good posture, up nice and tall the whole time. You're going to hold 30 seconds on each side here. You'll feel this all in your hip socket. Seated, figure four. All right, next up is T-spine crunch, okay? A bad side on so you can kind of see my upper back as we do this one. What you're going to do is take your hands, put them interlaced behind your head. You are not cranking on your neck at any point, okay? So we're just interlacing, but that's just to get our hand position correct, okay? From here, what I want you to do is stay up nice and tall the whole time, okay? You're going to let your elbows come in. You're going to crunch down, okay? Letting that upper back round a little bit. You're not pulling on your head. You're just rounding down. And then as you come up, you're going to pull those elbows as far away as possible, okay? So I'm really driving those elbows out, 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 squeezing those shoulder blades, and then relax all the way back down, okay? Come up, squeeze, 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 try to get the elbows far, and then relax back, okay? Squeeze, 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 and relax back, okay? <clears throat> That's the seated T-spine crunch. Remember, no cranking on our neck, we're just squeezing those shoulder blades to create that movement and relaxing back to reset. Alrighty, next up is elevated pigeon stretch, okay? What you're going to do is put your leg at 90 degrees on the side of a chair, okay? From there, you're going to try and get this back knee all the way to the ground. If that's really tight for you and challenging, you can always hold yourself up, hands on the side of the chair, giving yourself a nice tall posture. But as you get more comfortable, more flexible, try and get all the way to the ground. Good posture, sit up nice and tall, 30 seconds here. You're going to feel all the back of that glute. If you want to extend it a little farther, you can rock over that front shin and over that knee during that 30 second period to make it a little more intense, okay? Again, this is elevated pigeon stretch. Okay, next up is child's pose to cobra. If you've done any yoga, both of these should be pretty familiar for you. If not, not to worry, I'll give you a little introduction here. You're gonna start off in child's pose. You're gonna sit back so your heels are as close to your, or excuse me, your butt is as close to your heel as possible, and then you're gonna reach your hands straight out, trying to reach a little bit farther. Go ahead and rest your forehead on the ground. Okay. So this is our child's pose. You should feel this on the back side of our lats. Okay, so you're gonna hang out here for a couple seconds, then you'll rock all the way forward into cobra. Okay, get into stretching out that back a little bit. And then rock all the way back down to child's pose. And then rock 
forward again to Cobra. Okay. For this one, I like to get a little pause at each end. So good, nice deep breath, a one or two count, depending on how you want to do it. So make sure you're pausing at either end and you do that one for reps, eight to 10. Okay. So that was child's pose to Cobra. Alrighty, so that's our mobility uh, this week. So we're just doing a quick refresher on the rep scheme. Quad wall stretch was 30 seconds each side. Um, seated figure four, 30 seconds each side. T-spine crunch, 10 to 12 reps there. Elevated pigeon, 30 seconds each side. And child's pose to cobra was eight to 10 reps, all right? Have a little fun, try and start incorporating these into your daily routines. As we work from home, we're only getting tighter the more we sit. So mobility is huge. It's the one piece of uh, our exercise that can really take control of ourselves. So have some fun with mobility this week, uh, and I'll see you next week for another workout.